this video we're going to sketch graphs of bonds. We're going to do three graphs. It's about a five minute video. So in this first one, if you notice that there is no C term. The two looks like it's part of the C term, but it's not. It's actually the D term. They will put parentheses around the C term if it has more than just the X on it. So here we just set the, uh, the X plus C equal to zero, which is just zero. And we move the vertical asymptote to X equals zero. For the critical point, we find the vertical asymptote and add 1 to it, so 0 plus 1, and then just bring down the D term, which is 2. And we get a point at 1, 2. Now for the next part, we had to take the parentheses part and set it equal to the base number. So in this case, X needs to equal 3. And when we, so it gives us 3. And when that happens, the log part will become the value of 1. And so we end up with just the A term, which is 1, plus the D term, which is 2. And so our second point is at 3, 3. Now let's get our magic paper. So we see our picture. That's the graph shape. And now we just uh, sketch it best we can. One side follows the asymptote very closely, and then the other side kind of shoots away from it. Right, that was a very simple one. Let's do a little more complicated one. Now see how this one has the x minus 4 in the parentheses. That means the 4 is the C term. So we set that parentheses x minus 4 equal to 0. And of course x will equal 4. And that's our new vertical asymptote. So we move the graph to 4, the dotted line to 4. And when, to find the critical point we take that asymptote which is 4 and add 1. Because the critical point is one point further over to the right of the asymptote line. And then the D term in this case, there isn't one, so it's zero. And now we set the second point, we set the parentheses, so X minus four, equal to the base number, which is seven. And when we do that, what we end up getting is log base seven of seven, which is the value of one. And so we get the log part is one, and there is no D term to add to it. A plus D is 1 plus 0 is 1. So our second point is at 11, 1, which is actually off our graph, but we can make it work. And we look at our magic paper, and again, one side goes, oops, one side goes towards the asymptote, almost touching it, and then it kind of shoots away from it following those dots. And our third and final example has all the lovely letters on it. So we're going to set the parentheses part equal to 0, the x plus c. So x plus 3 equals 0. And that will happen when x is negative 3. So that is my vertical asymptote. I'll move the line to negative 3. And to find the critical point, we'll add the asymptote plus 1. So negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. And then the d term on the end there is negative 4. So let's put that dot on our graph. And then let's get our second point. And for this one, we're going to need to set the parentheses, which is x plus 3, equal to the base number of the log, which is 12. And so what plus 3 equals 12? 9. So the x value is 9. And then the a plus d comes out to be 2 plus a negative 4. So 9 comma negative 2 and that's our second dot. We take a look at our magic paper again make sure we got the picture in our mind and then we draw it. So one side is near the asymptote and then it veers away heading towards the dots. And there you have it another successful lesson.